Hello everyone, I'm Chuck Quentin. I'm so excited to welcome you to today's game-changing lesson where you're gonna learn just how easy it is to learn a Tour Pro quality backswing in just a few minutes with one simple drill. You're gonna be shocked at just how simple it really is and you're gonna to get to see it happen with a real lesson I just gave to a student named Kevin. Now Kevin is a single digit handicapper but as you can see from his before swing on the left, he was having to work pretty darn hard to play at that level. Now you can see with his swing on the right just how great of a position he's in at the top of his swing and he did this all just using three super simple moves that you can learn in five minutes. Now these moves simplified his backswing so much he's now in as good a position as any tour pro on the planet throughout his entire backswing. You're going to be amazed when I walk you through his backswing at the transformation. It's awesome. So anyway, I'm super excited to share this with you because it's going to have a huge boost in your consistency with every club in the bag. And best of all, it's so easy that literally anyone can achieve the exact same position at the top, no matter your age, doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter how flexible you are, if you think you're super athletic, it does not matter. And I'm going to prove it to you. Before we start, I want to make you a promise. I promise at the end of this webinar, you will finally understand just how easy it is to instantly have a world-class backswing just like the pros, just like what you're gonna see Kevin learn. And it does not matter how old you are, your flexibility, or your handicap level, I promise you. That's the beauty of RST, of the Rotary Swing 5-Step System. It does not care where you're at at the learning process. If you're brand new to golf or if you've been playing 50 years, it does not matter. You too can look just as good as the pros at the top of your swing. That's a pretty good deal, right? You're going to learn a world-class backswing, just three simple moves that not only looks great, but performs great as well. That's really what it's all about, right? You're going to learn how to move less to hit the ball farther and more consistently than you ever have before, and that's going to lead to lower scores and, more importantly, more fun. And you're going to learn how to build this Tour Pro backswing without having to go to the range. And as an added bonus, if you stay to the end of this training, you're going to see me actually teaching Kevin these three simple moves and one bonus move to show you how to fix an inside takeaway in the actual lesson where you're going to see him make these huge transformations and show the whole process of how he's learning how to move correctly doing these three simple moves. What I'm going to share with you today is literally the difference between the high double digit handicap golfer and the scratch player. So if you want to become a single digit handicapper or better, you want to play very close attention to the little details I'm going to show you today. Make sure your cell phone's off. Don't worry about your emails. The next few minutes are all about focusing on your game and helping you achieve the golf game that you know that you're capable of. And I promise you're going to be rewarded in the end. Now, I know many of you are out there thinking, listen, I've played golf my whole life. I have struggled with an inside takeaway. I get across the line at the top. I'm laid off or whatever it is. It does not matter. What makes rotary swing so different is its ability to make rapid changes because we do not teach the way that most golf instructors teach. In fact, it's quite honestly, the opposite in most cases. And you're going to see that today. I'm going to actually fix Kevin's swing plane without touching the club. I'm not worried about moving the club into a certain position, like hitting the takeaway here or whatever. All those things are happening behind you at speed. You can't see them in your real swing anyway. So why on earth would you worry about trying to fix something that's moving super fast back behind you that you can't see? The trick is how you fix the problem. And I'm gonna show you today fixing Kevin's backswing plane. It's gonna be perfect when we're done in just a few short minutes, and I'm not actually going to have him try to position the club anywhere. I'm gonna teach him how to move his body a very specific way, and that is the difference between rotary swing and everything else out there. We move from the inside out, we teach you how to move the way your body's designed to, and that's what you're gonna to see today. So some of you may not know much about me or much about rotary swing and new to everything. So just a quick rundown of who I am. I played professionally for eight years. I've been teaching for 24 years now. I've given more than 10,000 lessons. Yes, that's a lot of time in the sun. I've worked with more than 50 tour pros. I've trained more than 40 instructors around the world. Of course, I founded rotaryswing.com, which has more than 350,000 members. And I love punishing golf balls. Hitting a golf ball hard is what it's all about for me. But one of the things I get asked all the time is, hey, why don't you play professionally anymore? Now, most of you know me as a great ball striker and a ball striking coach and a very poor putter. And unfortunately, that's true. <laughs> Can't say anything bad about it. It's just the reality of it. If I got paid, though, for hitting the most fairways and greens in regulation while also having the most putts per round, I'm pretty sure I would have been the leading money winner. 
But anyway, I've won my share of tournaments over the years, but without a doubt, what I remember the most are the losses and the exact reasons for those losses always revolved around my putting. That's enough about me and my education at uh, Hard Knock University. Let's get diving into the stuff that's going to help you with your game. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like I just insist on learning things the hard way. I don't know if it's just stubbornness or foolishness or what, but just once I'd like to learn something really valuable, something really useful, and I'd like to learn it the easy way the first time. With the golf swing, there really hasn't ever been an easy way. In fact, when I learned how to play golf, I learned how to play golf through Jack Nicklaus's Golf My Way VHS tapes. It's a true story. Let me tell you, this was not the easy way. In fact, it led to a doctor wanting to cut my femur in half by the time I was 31 years old. I'll come back to that in a minute, but... Let me ask you, do you kind of feel the same way? Do you feel like you tend to learn things the hard way or that learning golf has been super hard? Do you want to finally learn something that seems really difficult but take the easy path instead? <laughs> Let's hear it in the comments. Who wants to learn a Tour Pro caliber backswing the easy way? Oh, Mike's in. Larry's in. All right. All right. Everybody's in. So nobody wants to try to dig it out of the dirt like I did, it sounds like. We're all aboard for the easy train. Let's take the easy way. Let me tell you, my swing that you see now did not always look like this. Take a look at my swing. This is actually the swing I had in college. Got me a golf scholarship, believe it or not, so don't laugh too hard. But listen real close. You can hear me shank it and hit it off this little metal pylon. Hey, check that out. I kind of look like Jack Nicklaus, right? Got the big reverse C, the knee bowing out, the hips bowing out the back blowing out. That's exactly what happened. This is when I was 20 years old, 21 years old. And by that time I had pain every single time I played golf. I'm a kid, I'm in college. By the time I was 31, I went to an orthopedic surgeon because I had a lot of pain in my hip and my back. And what was really strange about all this weird pain that I was having is that it seemed to only happen when I played golf. Imagine that. Now, I'd gone to tons of different instructors, some of the best guys in the world at the time, supposedly, and said, listen, man, my back seems to really hurt when I play golf and my hip really hurts. And they said, hey, man, you should go to a surgeon. I'm like, really? Oh, wow. Kind of young for that, but okay. So I did. And they said, yeah, man, you've got very little cartilage left in your hip and uh, you're going to need a hip replacement here real soon. I'm like, dude, I'm 31. You're not cutting my femur in half. Forget it. And how come it only hurts when I play golf? There has to be a better way. Like what's missing here? And how come none of these instructors who supposedly know everything about the golf swing can tell me why my back hurts? Well, it's not rocket science, folks. And that uh, was a huge catalyst for rotary swing being the safest way to swing the club was because of all the injuries and pain and suffering that I went through. And then I see it in all of my students. That's why we have this huge medical panel. But anyway, let's talk more about getting you into this awesome backswing position. Since I am certain that you do not want to go through all the back pain and hip pain and all the stuff that I went through and the 15 years of research trying to dig it out of the dirt, I'm going to share with you what I learned and save you all the trouble. So here we go. There are only five moves that all the pros basically do exactly the same. These five moves are the key things that you have to focus on in your golf swing and they're incredibly simple, believe it or not. That's the whole secret of the game is the tour pros are just moving less than you. They're more efficient than you. That's the key. These five moves can be learned by anyone. It doesn't matter your age or your flexibility or your ability or how strong you are, any of that stuff. It doesn't matter. The fastest way to learn these five moves is the critical piece. You have to learn them in a very specific sequence. And that is what makes the difference between success and failure. And there's a hard way to do this stuff. And there's an easy way to do this stuff. If you want to step up to the tee and feel confident and feel like you can step up there and hit a great shot no matter what, don't try to dig this stuff out of the dirt. Let me just give you the answers. This is like the cheat sheet. You're, you're taking your final college exam and somebody's saying, oh, by the way, it's open book. Here are the answers. You want to hit a shot like this? You want to step up to the 18th tee at Augusta someday and hit a perfect little cut around the corner just like this? You can do this. You don't have to work so hard for it. Let me give you the answers because they're all right here waiting for you.
Here's the first thing that you've got to understand. A great golf swing starts at the top, the top of the backswing. If you're in a reasonable spot at the top, then tons of great things can happen. But if you take the club way back inside, you get way across the line, or you're super laid off, or you're just not shifting your weight, or any of these things that are causing you issues in the downswing, because your backswing is off, you're never ever going to play to your potential. So all we gotta do is get you in a reasonable spot, not even to be perfect, but just get you in the zip code. If you're in the zip code, a decent spot at the top, then all of a sudden, great things are gonna start to happen in your golf swing. So let me ask you a question. How would you like to have as good a position at the top of your backswing as say, Adam Scott, without having to spend years pounding balls in the hot sun, trying to dig it out of the dirt on your own? What, you don't have five hours a day to hit balls like Hogan did? Me neither, man, I got stuff to do. Who has time to try and figure out the golf swing for themselves? Hasn't someone figured out all the stuff and made it easy to learn and understand by now? Yes, yes, that's exactly what you're gonna see today. A Tour Pro backswing can be yours. It can literally be learned in just minutes with three simple steps that anyone, literally anyone, whether you're eight years old or you're 80 years old, you can do this. Now I know what you're thinking, Chuck, there's no way it could be this simple. There's gotta be some secrets that you golf gurus hold and keep in your pocket and that's why you charge all this money for all these lessons and stuff. And it's true, there are secrets, but the secrets are not what you think they are. I'm gonna give you three secrets today that can completely change everything that you think about the golf swing. First, now you've probably been conditioned to believe that great golfers are born and they're not actually made, but as you saw from my horrendous and of course injury inducing golf swing that I learned from Jack Nicholas's Golf My Way tapes, great golf swings actually are and can be made, not born. It's not like that at all. If you've seen my roadshow videos, you know this for certain. You've seen me take somebody who was a rank amateur, a 30 hammer, you know, 30 handicap, 20 handicap, and all of a sudden they're moving like a pro in just one lesson. But there's so much misinformation. There's so much misunderstanding in the golf world these days. It's just it's darn near impossible to figure out what's right for your swing and what's not. There are three th secrets about the golf swing, okay? I want you to understand them because if you're holding on to these mental blocks in your head, you're keeping yourself from being able to be the golfer that you can become. First of all, secret number one, anyone, anyone can achieve this position that you saw in Kevin swing, Adam Scott swing, Tiger swing, Rory swing, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter your age, doesn't matter your flexibility, your strength, your conditioning, if you're a male or female, it does not matter. There's so many out there that think you can't teach an old dog new tricks, that you're not flexible enough. I've proven time and time again that no matter your age or flexibility, you can make a full shoulder turn and you can achieve a position just like Kevin did at the top of a swing. So let go of this self-doubt. It's holding you back from achieving your golfing potential. Secret number two, what you're gonna learn today is way simpler than what you're doing right now. One of the most important aspects of rotary swing is that you simply cannot move any less or any more efficient than what I'm gonna teach you to do. It's the fewest moving parts you can possibly have in your swing and still hit the ball 300 yards or more. You'll see that in this lesson today that I really just taught Kevin how to move way less. That's the real secret of the pros. If you're looking for a secret, that's it. It's all about efficiency. Secret number three, you do not need to pound thousands of balls on the range to develop a world-class swing. In fact, quite the opposite is true. The old school way of trying to learn the golf swing by digging it out of the dirt, reading a bunch of magazines, trying to listen to tips from your friends, all that stuff, it's dead. That was the past. Rotary swing is the future. You will literally learn five times as fast by doing what I'm gonna show you in your living room than you ever will pounding balls on the range until your hands bleed, trust me, I've done both. Remember the hard way and the easy way? We've all decided now that we're all gonna learn the easy way, right? All of us are on board for the easy train. Okay, so the first step to get onto the easy train is getting into a reasonable spot at the top so that we have a great chance to have a good downswing that's on plane that's gonna lead to consistency and more power. And as I promised you earlier, anyone can learn to be in the same world-class position that at the top, no matter your age or ability. So let me ask you this. Can you do this movement? Pretty simple, right? Of course you can. Half the backswing is done. Now, can you do this? Pretty easy, right? You can do these movements. They're not hard. In fact, they're actually incredibly simple. You can teach anyone how to do this. Guess what? You literally just learned 90% of the entire backswing. I'm not kidding. It's all you're gonna learn that the arms do in the swing. It's so simple. 
If you can learn to do these two movements, you can arrive at the top of the backswing exactly like Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, Adam Scott. It doesn't matter. It's so easy. There's no more manipulating your arms to try and create some mystical swing plane. Rotary swing demystifies the golf swing by teaching you to focus on the things that actually matter in the swing. I'm going to circle back to the arms in just a minute, but let me talk a bit more about secret number two because really this is the one that's probably holding you back more than any other. As you saw in my arm movements for the entire backswing, they're incredibly simple. It's the fewest moving parts you can possibly have in your backswing, and it's exactly what I do to arrive at the top position you see in my swing. So if it's so simple, why do you think you don't look like this at the top of your swing right now? Well, the answer is actually really simple. It's because you're doing too much. Yep, you're literally working too hard, you're moving far more than I am or any other great ball striker, and that's the real secret to golf. The less you move, the more consistent you're going to become. And right now, if you don't look exactly like me at the top, you're moving way too much and you're working way too hard in your golf swing. <laughs> now, ironically, I'd say that's the ultimate rub in golf. The harder you work, the more you do, the worse you play. <laughs> I mean, it's true. How frustrating is it to realize that the real secret that's been separating you from the swings you see on TV every weekend, the guys winning tournaments, the people winning, you know, beating you at your club, they're actually working less than you do and probably hitting the ball twice as far. Secret number three is going to be just as shocking to you because it's become almost a badge of honor to hit balls until you've got huge calluses on your hands. That was the exact strategy I had when I first turned pro because absolutely no one was going to outwork me. However, I quickly discovered that many of the pros I played and practiced with spent about 80% of their time on their short game, and they hardly ever spent hours pounding balls like I was. And then, to make matters worse, see if you can relate to this, they hit the ball better than I did. How unfair is that? I'm grinding myself into the ground. I'm literally hitting balls as many as eight hours a day, and the only thing I got from it was injuries, soreness, and the worst farmer's tan you've ever seen. Can <laughs> you relate to that? That was the catalyst for change for me, the catalyst for developing a better way to learn the swing. I knew there had to be a better way. I could see it in the other pros, but 20 years ago, I didn't know what that way was. Now the choice is yours. You can go out and hit a thousand balls a day like it, I did and try and dig it out of the dirt on your own, or you can take the easy way, the fast way. Imagine learning to swing the club as well as your favorite tour pro. Imagine that in your head. Imagine stepping up to the first tee and your swing looks as good as anybody on the PGA Tour, and you didn't have to leave the comfort of your living room to do it. No more sitting in traffic, driving to the club, no more boiling in the hot sun, risking skin cancer like I was. No more hitting hundreds of rock-hard, dimpleless golf balls at your driving range that don't fly straight anyway. Imagine if you could wake up in the morning, stay in your PJs and the cool air conditioning, and spend 10 minutes working on your swing and improving more in those 10 minutes than you would spending hours hitting balls at the range. That's the easy way. That's the future of golf instruction, and the future is right now with Rotary Swing. Let's take a look at Kevin's lesson and see just how quickly you can learn a world-class backswing with these three simple moves. Okay, so on the left we have Kevin's swing. We're going to walk through this first because I know so many of you can relate to these same simple flaws that we struggle with all the time that create so much inconsistency in our swing. So we're going to use the shaft plane and address as kind of a baseline for having an idea of where that club should go during the backswing. And then we're going to see where it does go and where it goes for so many of you out there that leads to huge inconsistency and big power losses. So let's start the club back. And this is where things really start typically going off for most golfers. It really happens in those first 12 to 18 inches of movement. If things are off just a little bit here, things start to go awry and just build and build and build all the way to the top of the backswing that we start getting ourselves in a really trapped position. So you can see the club's kind of working a little bit inside and under the plane. And then once we finish the takeaway, this gets to the point where the club head, like it does for so many golfers, is quite a bit inside the hand. So now this club head's over here and ideally it'd be in line with those hands. I'm gonna show you in just a moment a really cool trick. I'm gonna actually show you me teaching him this trick in real time so you can see how easy it is to keep the club head outside the hands or in line with the hands throughout the entire backswing. So now as we keep going, going to the top, now that club's inside, it's pretty buried already. Now the arms are starting to get really deep, the hands are really deep, and because of that, his body senses this, and so he starts steepening that shaft and picking it up. And this is where most really high handicappers start getting to a point where they're gonna swing over the top. They swing it deep inside, 
you sense that this is not a good spot to be in, and so you start picking your arms up and picking the shaft up, and you start getting really steep. And now it's pretty easy to see that the club is way off plane here and is not going to work out really well without a big reroute on the way down. So by the time we get to the top of the swing, he's quite a bit across the line. He's got his hands very deep. And now we got some troubles, right? So, so many of you can relate to this where just a little bit off the ball, just those first couple feet off the ball, the club starts going inside, and then we end up in a million different problems. You can see his left wrist is pretty cupped here, his hands are really deep, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Now, using one simple drill, and just in a couple minutes, watch what happens to a swing on the right. So now we use the same shaft plane. Oh, look at that. Notice now how the club's not going low and inside. It's actually working back straight back beautifully on that plane. I'm going to show you this little wrist trick in just a minute, how I got the club head. Now you see the difference here? Look where his club head is. It's actually outside of his hands. If you're going to make a mistake, this is where you want to make it. You want to err on the side of caution and have the club a little bit outside your hands or in line with your hands, but never. Where, this is where it was a minute ago, over here by his thigh, right? So we can't have the club there because that leads to now when the club's going inside, we start picking it up. So now we've got the club going back in an awesome position going back. And now look at this, right through that forearm. Gorgeous. We'll back this swing up just to show you where he was at just a moment ago in the same, at the same point, the same time in his swing. You can see now when his hands are about... Give or take a belt high, pocket high, somewhere in there. You can see his left arm on the right is now more or less straight down versus on the left. It's going way inside, and the club head's way inside. The club heads at this point couldn't be any further apart. So now, from here, it's so simple. The club's still on plane. If you remember over here on the left, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. His hands, by the time he's at 9 o'clock, are buried back behind his chest. We're back behind his arm, his right arm, and now you can see on the right, they're right in front of the center of his chest. So simple now to get into an awesome position at the top. All of this was done with one simple drill that you're going to learn that's going to teach you how to put your arms in a perfect position at the top in just minutes. Let's jump in on Kevin's lesson here and watch as I walk him through these three simple moves that we call on the site REF which stands for rotation, elevation, flexion. That's it. Those are the three things that you've got to do to, in order to get into a world-class position at the top. Now, I'm not going to go in, de in depth on it because you'll be able to watch the full lesson on the site, but I do want to talk about this little trick I was talking about to keep the club to stay outside of your hands as you go back because it's the number one thing that you can do right now to see an immediate improvement in your golf swing. Let's take a look at how I showed him how to do this. Correction here, and that is that I just, it's a video on the site where I'm talking about how the club goes inside and I push against this wrist joint mm -hmm. and I hold the shaft like this. And now your takeaway is normally in here. Now look what the difference is. There's two foot of difference, and the only difference is what I did with your left wrist. All I did was push my thumb against that joint, like I talk about in my video, and that forces the club to stay perfectly in line with your hands, perfectly in, on plane during the entire takeaway. Without you, you just did less, honestly. Mm -hmm. right. So, you do that, relax. Now the club naturally went here instead of here, right? It's again, it's just less movement, it's doing less and less. My whole goal with the swing is to get you to do basically nothing. It's pretty amazing, right? I completely transformed Kevin's backswing and put the club perfectly on plane, and I didn't even focus on the golf club. You see, this is the catch. You don't fix swing plane by trying to manipulate the club where you think it should go, especially when it's happening back behind you where you can't even see it. That's impossible. You fix swing plane by fixing the underlying cause, not the symptoms. Most golfers focus on the symptoms, the ball flight, the, what they see on video, but the cause, the underlying cancer is what has to be cured. Swing plane is nothing more than a result of how you move your body and how you move your arms, not the other way around. And how'd you like that little wrist trick I did to keep the club working back outside just like the pros? It's awesome, right? 
All you have to do is push on that little crease in your wrist. You can do this if you take your right hand off the club, hold the club with your left hand, and just take your thumb and where the you feel the little uh, point where your wrist hinges, put your thumb right there and apply a little bit of pressure so that the wrist stays in that slightly cupped position during the takeaway and watch what happens. It's so simple. The club travels back perfectly on plane. Now, I know those of you who suffer from an inside takeaway are dying to grab a club and run outside and try this little trick and start hammering balls. But first, let me ask you a question. If you could wake up in the morning tomorrow and have a perfect backswing, just like this, how much would you be willing to pay for it? What is a world-class golf swing worth to you? What would it feel like? Well, Kevin paid a thousand bucks for this incredible transformation and he had to travel all the way to my very remote location deep in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado to work with me in person. Now, I'm guessing most of you don't have a thousand bucks lying around just to work on your backswing, not to mention the travel expenses to come work with me in person. So what if I could come to you? What if you could get me personally to help you learn a game-changing backswing like this? You know, you call me up in the middle of the night and don't think this hasn't happened before because it's exactly why I don't give students my cell phone number anymore. Anyway, you call me up in the middle of the night and you're like, hey man, it's Roger again. I hit the ball pretty bad today. I hit it so bad. I don't even think my dog loves me anymore. I just can't go on like this any longer. Please help me. And I'm like, yeah, sure. No problem, man. You want to FaceTime right now? Oh, and Roger, put some clothes on this time. All right, dude. That'd be awesome, right? You've got your swing guru on speed dial 24-7. That's exactly what being a member of Rotary Swing is like. Well, except for the FaceTime and the late night phone calls and the lack of proper golf attire. You see, the very specific sequence I mentioned earlier for learning the golf swing, it's all already online. The exact sequence that I use to get Kevin to move as well as Tiger Woods in his backswing is all contained in literally just one video, and it's literally called Five Minutes to the Perfect Backswing. It walks you through those three simple steps, rotation, elevation, flexion, to do exactly the same things that you saw Kevin did and arrive at the exact same position as the best players in the world. That little pressure trick I use to keep the club head outside his hands on the takeaway, yep, it's on there too. It's called How to Fix an Inside Takeaway. Anything you've ever had a question about on the golf swing, I've answered it in great detail in video already. You see, when you're trying to figure out why the heck the ball is flying this way or that way at 3 a.m. or in the middle of a round of golf, you can pull me up and I've got the exact answer you're looking for in a video. Imagine if Tiger could add Butch with him in his pocket on every single shot. Now, at my $500 an hour rate, that's going to get pretty costly, and unlike Santa, I can't be everywhere at once. So, to make sure I can help as many golfers as humanly possible, I put my entire teaching system, the critical five steps of the pros, my entire full swing learning system, my short game mastery course, my Jack Nicklaus putting secret course, and of course, my personal favorite, my bomb your driver course, where you learn all all my secrets to hitting two drives over 400 yards and averaging 124 miles an hour club head speed. I put it all online. To be able to learn all my secrets in person like Kevin did would cost a crazy amount of money. Let's look at a couple of examples. If you want to take a lesson with me like Kevin just did, it's $500 an hour. And to do that, you'll need to venture out to my place high in the mountains, hours from the nearest big city. You've got to fly into the closest airport, it's Telluride. It's usually at least $600 from anywhere in the country. You gotta love small airports, right? And then you'll need to rent a car for a couple days, which will cost you another couple hundred bucks. You'll need to find a place to stay for a night, which out here is easily $250 a night, or you can stay at our academy, which is $500 a night. Now factor in that if you're gonna come out all this way, you'll probably wanna spend at least a couple hours with me, so that's another thousand bucks. All in for one lesson with me, you're looking at spending at least a couple thousand dollars or more. It's a steal, right? Well, listen, you don't have to spend all that money to get my help. I'm right there on your phone anytime you need me. The site has all the answers to the questions you haven't been able to figure out on your own. Why you slice it, why you can't shift your weight, why your back hurts, why you're losing lag, how to release the club, it's all there. And instead of spending thousands and thousands of dollars, what if you could spend less than what you're paying right now for a sleeve of balls? That's right, those shiny little white devils that you're gonna lose on the front line anyway, they cost more than learning how not to lose them in the first place through Rotary Swing. And best of all, Rotary Swing is the first ever scientifically backed, proven effective golf swing learning system that is guaranteed. Not for the first 30 days like most everyone else, not even a year like the rest. We do something that no other golf instruction website in the world can do because they don't have the tools that I do to improve your swing. We guarantee for life. 
That's right, if your swing doesn't improve by following my system exactly the way it's laid out, you can get 100% of your money back at any time, a year from now, two years from now, 10 years from now. Heck, we've been here 15 years and we'll be here for many more. So don't sweat it, you're going to get better. But seriously, I wanna help you with your game. I know firsthand how life-changing it can be to have a great golf swing that you're proud of. It not only looks great, but hits great shots too. It sounds like an exaggeration because after all, I mean, it's just golf, right? But how many days have been ruined in the last few years simply because you couldn't get a stupid little white ball into a tiny little hole? Probably more than you can count. It's time to fall in love with playing golf again and Rotary Swing can help you with that. So here's the deal. You can get access to my proven effective RST five-step system and all the bonus courses I mentioned above for $19.97 a month. That's our regular price. So for about $240 a year, you get the keys to the castle, the dark and mystical secrets to the golf swing explained in a simple and logical way that just makes sense. Since you took the time with me today on this webinar, I wanna offer you a one-time deal to get instant access to Rotary Swing at a price I've only offered one other time in the past 15 years. Are you ready for this? It's about 12 bucks a month. Yet for just under $150 a year, or about a quarter of a round at Pebble Beach, you'll get instant access to the best golf instruction content on the net. The only training that is guaranteed to improve your swing, and as a bonus for being on today's webinar, I'm gonna throw in six free online swing reviews with my world-class team of golf instructors who have done over 70,000 swing reviews. These guys really are the best instructors in the business as it takes over six months on average of rigorous training just to become a certified instructor and then hundreds of hours more to learn how to teach our system online. Imagine that, if you're stuck while working on something in your game and you just want a helping hand help push you over that hump, you can get a fully customized swing review, literally a movie that you watch as your personal coach walks you through your swing diagnosing the flaws, prescribing the fixes, all while creating a customized playlist of videos for you to focus on during your practice sessions. You now have exactly what you've been looking for, a world-class coach in your pocket 24 seven. And if you sign up today on this webinar, you can lock in your steeply discounted rate where you're saving nearly 40% off the regular price for life. Yep, as long as you maintain your membership, this rate will never ever go up for you. Even as I add new content like I do each month or I add new features like our free swing analyzer tool that you can use to look at your swing frame by frame, put your swing up against mine or any other tour pro that we use as a model. All of this is included and you can lock in this rate at $149.97 a year for life. To learn a world-class golf swing for less money than you probably spent on your last wedge, click that button below. And let's get started. Accept my offer, become the golfer you've always dreamed of. The one who steps up on that first tee with absolute confidence that that ball is about to be piped right down the middle. It's truly one of the best feelings in the world. Now, you might be thinking that you're not playing enough right now to warrant making a small investment in your game. I get it, we're all busy and golf is so often the first thing that we put on the back burner. But what if you finally had a reason to make more time to play? The number one reason people stop playing or stop making golf a priority is because their game goes downhill. I mean, after all, who wants to keep going out, losing ball after ball, shooting scores that keep inching higher, feeling like they're getting worse every time they step foot on the golf course? It's so frustrating. I certainly don't want to do that, and I'm guessing you don't either. Rotary swing takes very little time. Seriously, in less than half an hour a week, you can see your entire golf swing transformed overnight, just like you saw with Kevin in one simple lesson. One drill contained in one video and his backswing was completely transformed. Imagine what your swing would feel like, how well you could hit the ball from this world-class position and it's something that you could be learning right now in just minutes. So let's take control back. Let's make your game great again. Start carving out a little time to yourself each week to make your life better. Make your golf game the way that you know it could be, the way it should be, the way that you deserve for your golf swing to be. You don't have to drive down to the course of the range. You can literally be doing this in the comfort of your home right now. You can be doing it before you go to work. You can do it with a cold beer next to you after you get home from work. I mean, all you need to do is spend 30 minutes a week. You're drinking a beer, you're working on your game, you're doing it at home, and you can go out and start shooting your lowest scores of your life the very next time you play. This isn't an exaggeration. This is what will happen with Rotary Swing. And even if you don't feel like you have the time, I'm willing to bet it's because you haven't had a good reason to make the time. Click that button below. Let's get started right now. 
This offer is very limited. It's going to expire. As soon as this webinar is over, you're not going to get access to this again. So click the link below. Let's get started and start getting the golf game that you deserve. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what kind of real world results can I expect to get with Rotary Swing? Well, I've done enough talking. I'm going to let my other members do the rest of the talking for me. Here's an email I just got from a, a testimonial from a gentleman named Ron who attended a golf clinic and is a member of the site. Here's what Ron had to say. Hey, this is Ron Haberman. In case you don't remember, I took the RSD course in Orlando. I, this was our Ritz Carlton Golf Academy Clinic uh, in Orlando, Florida. Anyway, my short game has improved tremendously after rewatching and practicing all of the RST short game videos. No more chunking. How many of you guys would love to stop chunking chip shots out there? And distance control with both chips and pitches is really good regardless of club selection. My putting was always erratic, but after switching to left hand low, now you're going to learn this in my Jack Nicholas putting secret course. It's an awesome, awesome thing that's going to completely transform your putting as it did for Ron. He switched around six months ago and he, I don't think I've had a single three putt since then. That's amazing. In six months, both distance control and line are spot on. The full swing has always been my nemesis, and that was the real reason I came to Orlando. I've had short spurts of brilliance, but they were short-lived, and I knew I was off the mark. I don't know why it took me so long to do this, but I went back to the beginning, and I watched the fundamental videos to see what it might be. That's the key. It's the fundamental stuff that you're going to learn early on as a member of Rotary Swing that's going to walk you through the most critical things. Remember, everybody gets caught up in all the BS, the nonsense, the swing plane, the D plane, all these things. I'm going to teach you the stuff that really matters. Anyway, back to Ron. I immediately realized two things. I was making a full turn, but not completely turning around my spine, and my posture was too upright. I knew that you wanted me to stand more upright during my lesson, but I kept coming over the top and wasn't coming back to the ball reliably. Just a few days ago, I increased my spine angle based on the golf posture video and watched videos of Tiger and DJ on the site, and it was like magic. This is where stuff gets exciting for me, guys. This is why I start getting pumped up when I start getting testimonial emails like this. Now that I had more space for my arms to swing freely beneath my shoulders, I've been compressing the ball like an animal. Who wouldn't want to say that? This is so cool. And I can hear the difference, man. I love hearing the ball hiss off the face. It's one of my favorite things in golf. It now feels like what the RST videos have been teaching and my mirror now shows it. My swing is now so easy and effortless, it's ridiculous. That's the whole point, guys. If you want an effortless golf swing, you have to stop putting effort into it. I'm going to teach you how to feel like Ron, how to feel effortless and crush the ball. Not only is the ball going further, but it's also really straight with a nice baby draw. Better late than never, right? You betcha, Ron. I had already dropped several strokes off my handicap before the changes I mentioned above, and I'm pretty confident I'll be down to around a 12 or 15 within a few weeks to months after the new changes become more ingrained. That's critical. I'm going to talk about the learning processes. The very beginning of the full swing course, we're going to talk about how your brain actually learns new movement patterns. It's very important you don't skip that section. I tell everybody I know or don't know who mentions anything about lessons about RST and encourage them to join. For those I've been playing with for a long time and who can see the dramatic difference, they are believers, and I hope it translates to more traffic to the site. <laughs> Very kind of you. Thank you, Ron. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for changing my game for the better forever. No more stupid Band-Aid lessons and for making it more fun. Ron gets it. This email is exactly why I do what I do. It's exactly why I still give golf lessons, why I still get excited about seeing people get excited about their own game and their own potential. This is exactly what I live for. So don't miss out on this offer. I can't offer this forever. In fact, we're actually getting ready to increase our prices because we're at full enrollment. We have all the certified instructors we've, we have right now that can do all the lessons that we have and we can't really take on any more. So we're going to be capping enrollment and increasing the prices. So if you want to lock in this price today, I'm only going to give you a couple more moments. You have to click that button. You have to make a decision that you want to be like Ron. You want to start hearing the ball hiss off the face. You want to start compressing the ball like an animal and you want to start having fun again. Do you want to stop being angry and frustrated when you come home from the golf course? This is your chance. This is what you've been looking for. Don't dawdle about it. You're only going to be a day older if you wait, don't wait. Take this opportunity right now, click the button below and let's get started. Well, I want to thank you guys for all for attending this and hopefully you learned something from it. And more importantly, you're going to learn so much more as we go on. As you become a member of Rotary Swing, I'm going to share all the secrets with you that are going to get you the golf game that you deserve. Thanks again so much for attending, guys, and I'll see you on the other side.